Good morning, guys. So, okay, I know I'm looking a little rough, but it's Sunday morning, and today is a good day for me. I am moving into my new place. Um, so right now I'm at the storage. I don't know if you guys can see where I'm at in the back, but. I'm at um, my storage right now. I'm getting all of the things. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you guys can see me. So I'm getting all the things um, that I need, like my bed. I still had stuff from my old place. So thank God I kept everything. I didn't get rid of anything because I just never knew, you know. But luckily, I went with my instincts and I kept everything. So I have my washer and dryer. I still got couches, my bed, and all that stuff. So it was all in storage. So. I really don't have to buy any furniture for this new place. I'm really just moving in all my old stuff into this new apartment. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to, you know, stay in the car and let them do what they do. And we'll be headed to our, my new place. Alrighty, guys. So I am here at my apartment. So that's neat. I'm on the third floor. <laughs> but... The good thing about being on the third floor is you don't hear the stomping and craziness so from people upstairs and i get to get a little workout in but it does suck because i got to bring groceries up here and stuff like that i'm like damn but anyway so the movers are downstairs i'm about to show you guys what my the inside look real quick before they start moving everything in Stairs, we getting you, girl. Okay. So, let me turn on some lights. Okay. So, this is my kitchen. Living room, got a little fireplace. My bedroom. And my bathroom. So, I need a few things, and then my closet. My closet's huge, <laughs> but for the most part, it's pretty, it's a little tight, a little small, but for the most part, it does really, it's, it fits me, you know? And I'm only, I'm only here for six months, so we'll see what, you know, I can get. But, all right, let me go help these guys downstairs. Hey guys, so we're almost done. They got majority of all of my stuff in here. So this is the little living room area. I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with that couch. I, or I don't know if I'm gonna put it over here or leave it over there, but we'll, I'm gonna figure it out. So, so far, so good. I got everything situated in here. I got a lot of stuff in here. Um, the bed is coming along. I have to um, get the mattress, which, which they are getting right now as we speak. This is going to be my nightmare. Ooh, almost fell. All of this, these are just clothes, all clothes. And yeah, that's going to be the, my nightmare. So almost done. Um, about another 15 minutes. All I got to do is lay this down. You can tell I'm super tired. Lay my mattress down and go give them some money. I'm going to grab me something to eat and I'm going to get to work. And I was going to pick up Bruno today, but his dad wanted to keep him an extra day. So which kind of worked out because I am super busy um, with this move. So I said, OK, you can keep him for an, an extra day and I will go pick him up on Monday. And I start my real estate classes, too. Super duper duper excited about that. So. We're coming along, guys. We are coming along. I thought my apartment came with a microwave, but I guess it didn't. Or do most apartments don't come with microwaves? I don't know. Anyway, so I have to improvise. So I turned my oven on because I want to heat up my panda. And I know I bought this pot, so I cleaned the pot and now I'm about to empty out my panda and put it in the oven so it can heat up 
because I didn't buy a microwave and all that Walmart. Walmart's gonna be my best friend for the next few weeks. Hoping I can get all this stuff, all my whole entire apartment ready to go, move in, feeling like home in two weeks, hopefully. But so far, so good. I, you see I got most of the boxes out of here and how I was looking. Um, just getting it all organized. I'm about to eat real quick, take a shower, because I think I'm gonna leave this here for tonight because I have my real estate class in the morning. Hey guys, so a little recap. I got most of, like I said, I got most of that stuff done. I ate, I took a shower, washed my face, and I'm going to bed. I'm freaking tired. So I honestly know that um, my fan is shaking a little bit too hard. It better not fall. That would be all bad. It makes me a little, little nervous. Hmm. I might want to turn it off. Anyway, um, I'm going to go to bed because I have to get up at 7 in the morning. I have my uh, real estate class. So remember I was doing real estate online? Well, I'm not really good with online like I thought I was. Uh, that was very tedious. Like you really have to sit there for eight hours and just read. And I just, it was just so distracting. So I just ended up taking the classes, going into classes. So I'm gonna pick up where I left off and go into the classes. And hopefully I can get my license by next month or the month after that. If I, um, cause I'm not really sure how the classes really work. This is my first time. And I know that two days are eight hours and it just says two days for that for that section so I'm not sure if it's gonna be another two days later because I need to complete 30 hours so technically 8 and 8 that's only 16 hours I'm not really sure how that goes but anyway I'm gonna call it a night and um, thank God my um, Wi-Fi or internet comes tomorrow so I can have some TV because I'm being a little bored and I don't have really good reception up here. That's what happens when we have Sprint. I will see you guys in the morning at my classes. Good night. Hey, good morning guys. So today is Monday. It's 7.45 in the morning. I'm headed to my real estate classes like I told you guys yesterday. And um, I am so sleepy. <laughs> I was so excited last night I really couldn't go to sleep but um I finally went to sleep maybe like around two close to the yeah like around two but anyway I'm up and I'm ready I actually kind of like getting up early I hated getting up early you know the hardest part about getting up is getting up so I can never really fully get up in the morning because I hated getting up um, but once I'm up and out the door I'm good but anyway so that's where I'm headed right now. I have like a little small breakfast. I have a couple muffins and some orange juice and some water. And um, at this real estate uh, classes that I'm going to called Champions of Real Estate in Fort Worth, they actually serve you lunch. So I don't have to worry about that. I just need to get my breakfast in. But anyway, guys, I'll show you. I'll see you guys at class. Yes, I'm here. That's the school. I don't know. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it. Champion School of Fort Worth. So you can, you can tell the, um, as you can tell, the parking lot is pretty, full. not pretty full. It's like eh, halfway full, halfway decent for what's going on over here. I don't think I have like a full class, um, but I have books and stuff, but I have it. When I went to California for a month, I wasn't sure if I should have the books come to California or I should just pick it up at the school. So I made sure that I just decided to just pick it up at the school I thought that it was easier but it's 8 10 right now um I got kind of lost a little bit because I didn't know where the hell this place was but um I'm gonna go in in about another five minutes I'm gonna eat one of my muffins and that's it wish me luck guys I'll see you after the class is over because I don't think I can bring my camera in there um yeah I don't think it's be even appropriate but anyway guys so um i pick up bruno today so i'm super excited about that so my baby gets to come home with his mommy anyway i'll see you after class so i am done with class and it's 4 30. Uh, i'm tired but anyway um the class was really good everything is fast fast paced it's like so 
as you can see right here, they gave us this book. Damn it. I should have ate that. Oh, now I got up. So they gave us this book right here called The Principles of Real Estate One. And this is like, we, we went over this the whole day. We have two more chapters. And uh, um, we have two more chapters. We have, oh goodness, so we have two more chapters left and out of that book and then we have a test. It is hot as hell in here. And um, we're done with that course. Then I have to do five more classes and I'm done. Then I can take my test and I can become a realtor. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm gonna bring my camera in tomorrow because I think I told the teacher that I was a vlogger and I wanted to bring my camera in. He was like, yeah, sure. But I don't think we can go actually, like he can record the sessions or anything like that, but just to get an atmosphere of what, just to get a look of what the class is looking like. Uh, but so far, so good. I really enjoy this class. Um, there was a young lady that I had met off of Instagram who's also a real a real a agent here in Fort Worth. And she's the one who told me to go to the class. She said that cause she did online and that it was like the worst and um to go here and then, yes this is a little bit more expensive i'm paying 155 dollars each class on 86 so it's a little bit um a little bit over about 900 i think like 930 is what i'm paying but it's so worth it because i actually can finish this month of well next month which is may actually my license and they actually have um realtors like kelly williams um united they had another another um person another one this was the first person that we met with i don't know if you can see them them right there they came in today and talked to us and wanted to see if we wanted to be on their team and things like that uh, but i learned a lot today but like i said it's very fast paced so a lot of the stuff i didn't really quite comprehend yet until i have to go back over and look at it um but yeah so far so good so right now I'm just gonna go home lay down f for a little bit if I can um, and then I have charter which is cable and internet coming today at 6 so yeah I'll be um, getting ready for that cuz I need some TV I can't just be sitting in the house just looking at the walls hey right, guys so I'm finally I went to Go pick up Bruno. As you can hear, his heavy ass breathing in the background. So check this out. So I'm gonna go pick up Bruno. Let me show you guys. Say hey, Fat Daffy. He's finally home, guys. Anyway, so I went to go, like I said, pick him up. And I got home from picking up Bruno. My AC had completely shut off or broken or turned off something so it was like 86 degrees in this house and it was like scorching hot so me and bruno come in we're like i'm like what the fuck is going on here like it's fucking hot so i opened up all the doors and i went down to the leasing office and i was like hey you know like my ac i think it went out like i left it on because i i left it on 70 this morning because i knew i was gonna pick up bruno um after i left class and i didn't want it to be hot in here i wanted it to be cool and nice for him so i made sure i set put it on 69 69 or 70. so when i came home it was like i said completely shut the fuck off so they're like no you know everything should be working and blah 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 we'll have maintenance come so me and bruno was in his hot ass house for a good hour and a half burning the fuck up i was bruno's pant he's still trying to catch his like you know cool his body down from being as hot as fucking house and um i finally I, after the guy came he finally fixed it and I, the ac is on he is finally blowing but by the time it from 87 because it got up to 87 to try to get down to 69 it's gonna take a while so right now i just checked in and i think it was at like 80 or 79 so it's coming down slowly but it's finally come uh coming down so i went took a shower and i was like oh my god this is not a good sign bruno's first day home and it's already hot for him he's gonna fucking die but luckily we got it fixed but um i got my good old laptop right here 
and I'm about to look up some jobs. So everybody know I used to work for my ex, but since I don't work for him anymore, I need to find a job. Like I have money, but that money is to pay these bills, not to be splurging. So if I want to go places and do things, um, you know, like getting my hair done, get my nails done and things like that, you know, I need money. I need, I need a residual income constantly coming in. So I'm gonna go online, look up some jobs and basically that's it but let me show you guys a little a little uh um area of the house because i know that um when the last time i showed the house it was messy and i had just moved kind of moved in but now i'm getting kind of settled it in so let me guys give you a little shot of what's going on so my tv don't worry about them cores i'm trying to work with them got my couches and my little end table and things like that Got me a little light, you know, my couches, you know. Things are finally starting to come along. I just have to go through these boxes because a lot of stuff I'm end up throwing away because I got way too much. Just know that all four of those boxes are hair products. I was a hoarder of hair products when I first chopped my hair off four years ago. So little small things. I got my kitchen all taken care of. Let me turn the light off. I got my kitchen all taken care of. Um, of course, I throw that away. You know, I was washing, I was washing dishes earlier. And my bike to help me with cardio because sometimes it gets boring. Oh man. So the bathroom is looking pretty good. Um, yeah, got it organized or whatever. Even got me a little shower curtain and things because you know it was looking crazy. So the only room I haven't really tackled yet is the bedroom. And I'm gonna get to that a little later. I'm gonna try to get to that. Let me turn on this light. So the only thing I haven't really tackled is this bedroom because it is a lot. So I have a lot of freaking clothes and a lot of shoes. So as you can see, shoes, shoes, those boxes over there, shoes, clothes, clothes, shoes, shoes. Reno's bed, shoes, clothes, clothes. And more clothes. So I have a lot to freaking do. So I'm gonna try to get, tackle this on the weekend. So like I said, I'm gonna try to tackle that this weekend because like I said, me going to my real estate class, I'm literally there from eight in the morning from 4.30 in the evening. As you can see, I got like little bags underneath my eyes. I'm so beat up and tired and just overwhelmed with everything. I just, you know, try to get everything done in a short period of time. And I've been breaking out because I haven't been cooking i've been eating out because i don't have time so once i get this place well i can start actually cooking tomorrow because i actually have my pots and pans now and then i have to go grocery shopping so i can actually start cooking tomorrow um if i wanted to but it's just been so hectic because when i left and went to california i was there for a month a whole month and i finally got this apartment because I got denied two times from apartments because I didn't have a job. And even though I had the money to pay at least a year up front, it still didn't matter to them. They were like, mm, no, if you don't have a job, we can't let you in. So I was getting denied and I was getting frustrated and um, overwhelmed and discouraged because I was like, damn, like, I need somewhere to stay like how you know I, I don't want to come back home I mean I could have stayed at home and just you know live there but I left my city for a reason so I didn't want to stay so I finally got a hold of this apartment and don't get it wrong these this apartment is not luxury it's not like super nice or anything like that but it is decent for the price I pay 740 for one bedroom and I am on the third floor which fucking sucks but you know it's some nice little cardio um but you know i mean it is what it is i only signed a six month lease so i'm not you know if i don't like it and if i find a job and i can you know maybe move somewhere else but i really don't like moving so i probably will stay here until i know that i'm going to be moving into somewhere i really really like or i really really want you know hopefully a nice condo or a house so until then i'm comfortable here because um it's not bad it's a really good neighborhood it's quiet um until i start making money until i start 
taking you know since so until real estate starts making income for me i really can't i don't have time to be picky you know i don't have the funds or yeah i don't have the funds to be living lavish i'm not the type of person who is gonna i'm not the type of person who's gonna spend their last and trying to look like i got money you know because i don't if i'm broke i'm gonna look broke until i get on my feet so until I get situated with my life, until I actually start doing things for me and getting whatever it is that I'm trying to do up to par, up to level, then I can level up. But right now, I stay, I live within my means. I traded in my car, my Porsche for a Honda. I went down, I downgraded. And a lot of the times people are like, you know, you know, not a lot of people, but some of my friends were like, why'd you trade in the Porsche? You should've just kept it, you know? I, I can't keep up with it. I don't have the money to, um, you know, drive a Porsche. Porsche is Porsche is a it's it's a rich man car. And I'm not rich. You know, I, I have to live within my means. I have to to come down to earth, drop down, so I can start over. You know, and well, this time I'm starting over, and it's strictly for myself not for anybody else not helping anybody else grow strictly helping me grow and i learned a lot over these past years of just you know not being able to put myself first but now i'm putting myself first and i'm finally am going to see where i can get myself so yeah i kind of started over when i first moved out here this is how i was living i had a regular jeep um, I had a small ass apartment and I had a job. I was just regular because, you know, I was just I had just moved out here. But so now it's like, yeah, I had to backtrack. I had to go all the way to point A. But this time I'm taking a different journey. This time I'm taking a different path. And this time this path is going to be strictly that's going to benefit me. So lesson learned. Always take care of yourself first before trying to help others. Because at the end of the day, you be left with nothing. And that's basically what happened. But you know, I'm, I'm not taking that. I'm not taking nothing from it. I'm just learning from it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not ashamed to level down. That was that's that's never been me. And like, yeah, I had a nice life back then, but I'm not ashamed to go down and start over. You know? So and that's exactly what I'm doing. I got my baby Bruno. We're starting over, and we're just gonna keep pushing forward and just you know to see where where my journey takes me and you know keeping the faith in god and just you know going forward but anyway guys i'm gonna wrap up this video because i talked long i talked long enough and i need to get my butt in bed at a decent time so i can get up in the morning but i'm gonna edit this video and post it tomorrow so i hope you guys enjoyed it um like i said it's nothing to you know extravagant it's just me showing me starting over um but anyway guys i hope you like comment and subscribe and don't forget to share my video and i will see you guys in my next vlog bye came through dripping came through dripping